So welcome to another edition of What Did Gina Buy From Trader Joe's? And I want you guys to guess how much I spent. I'm not gonna tell you, let's just go ahead and guess. So first thing I picked up is a repeat buy. It's the Trader Joe's Organic Watermelon Jerky. I know I had some strong things to say about this last week to where it was okay, but I found myself craving it. So I thought that was worth a repurchase in my opinion. Another repurchase is the Organic corn chip dippers. If I haven't said this already, I'm on a gluten-free, dairy-free, poultry-free diet. I know that is a lot, but I took a food test from Everly Well and I am avoiding the foods that I was sensitive to. So I'm almost at two weeks and I feel great. So I'm going to keep on going with that. <laughs> so not everything you see here is gluten-free, dairy-free, poultry-free because, um, other members of my family are not on the same specific diet as me, but the stuff I get for myself are dairy-free, gluten-free, poultry-free. All right, so for the kids, I picked them up, the Trader Joe's PB&J uh, little dippers, kind of like the handy snacks with the breadsticks and cheese, but it's peanut butter and jelly. Genius. I picked up some veggie broth. I also picked up some limes. I also found this. It's the strawberry basil vinaigrette. This sounded absolutely yummy. Doing like a summer salad with grapes and sunflower seeds, craisins, some broccoli. That was my vision with that. Next up we have the gluten-free double chocolate muffins. My son absolutely loves these so he's going to be a surprise little boy when he comes home. I also picked up the sweet mini bell peppers, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up in salads and maybe like fajitas, not really sure yet. I also needed some salt, so we picked up some salt. I also am gonna do some sweet potato bowls, so I needed some black beans, got some lemons, and got some sweet potatoes. All right, next up, some more repeat buys, the organic popcorn with extra virgin olive oil. And this is my favorite popcorn. It's the popcorn with herbs and spices. So I picked that up. Running out of room here. I also got some kale to go with that salad I was talking about with the grapes and even like diced apples, tomatoes, so many things you can throw in a salad, like a summer salad like that. So picked up the kale. I also got a thing of broccoli to go with that summer salad I was talking about. I think I'm gonna need to make that tonight. And then another repeat buy is the dark chocolate honey mints. These are very good, but the chocolate is very bitter. So if you're someone who likes to kind of like suck on their chocolate candies and like savor it, I didn't like that process when I was eating these because it's the honey and the peppermint oil mixed with that really bitter chocolate that brings us together. Otherwise, it's very, very bitter. So you kind of need the whole like mouth explosion of the honey and the peppermint and the dark chocolate. You know what I'm talking about? Like you have to get all of it in. <laughs> okay. So next up, got some sliced apples for the kids. All of my kids love apples. Uh, got some mint. Also got two dozen of eggs. And I got some fresh cut watermelon because I am lazy and don't want to chop it up myself. I also got some cantaloupe chunks. If you're looking for, you know, a way to stay on budget, don't get your stuff already pre-chopped because it's going to be more expensive that way and you're not going to get as much. Um, I also got some red seedless grapes as well. Next up, we have some brioche hot dog buns. This is another repeat buy. I also got these for myself. It's the dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. They're gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, nut-free, peanut-free, vegan. So this is safe for me to go ahead and eat. So I picked these up. My husband and I are going to Vegas and I wanna have as many safe snacks at my fingertips as possible. I also got more of the organic multi 
grain bread. I also got some salted peanuts. I cannot stand unsalted peanuts. I have to have that salt. All right, so something else I got are two things of the dark chocolate chips. I love these so much from Trader Joe's. I made the dates dipped in dark chocolate with the peanut butter in the middle and it was so good. I also got these, the dark chocolate covered raisins. I need to have something for my sweet tooth at night and like during the day sometimes I just need a little pick me up. So um, I got these. All right, so something fun for the kids. I always try to find uh, little fun finds for the kids. Strawberry lemonade JoJo's. I thought that they would get a kick out of those and kind of goes with my like summer theme. Also, we have the cheddar cheese rocket crackers. This is another repeat buy. All the kids love those, so that's always a win. I got some organic oregano and some salted crunchy peanut butter. Like I said, I have to have the salted. I can't have unsalted. So something else I picked up is this watermelon cucumber cooler. So I picked this up for the kids and even myself. And you could throw like a little bit of vodka in it. I think that would be really good. All right. So next up, literally running out of space. I got some parsley. I think this is my biggest shopping trip over at Trader Joe's that I've done all month. So I also got another thing of Earth Balance butter because you know, doing that vegan thing, sort of, because I'm still eating beef and pork. <laughs> so I got some more of these dates to go ahead and make those uh, peanut butter filled chocolate covered dates. I also got some coconut whipped topping. So it's coconut cream in a can. So it's like whipped cream, but coconut. Yeah, coconut. So if you don't like coconut, you're not going to like that. All right. So I got some roast beef. I also got some frozen corn. I'm literally running out of space. I'm playing like Tetris with my groceries. Okay. So I picked up the non-dairy oat creamer in brown sugar. I also picked up some sirloin steak tips. So I actually thought of adding in some steak tips for protein in that salad I mentioned with you guys. That I also picked up the sweet Italian sausage with pork. And I picked up another one of these bell pepper and onions frozen because I thought I would go ahead and do kind of like a sausage and peppers deal um, with the peppers and the sausage, but that sounded good. We have some quinoa in the cupboard. And then lastly for the kids, I picked up this oat non-dairy frozen dessert sandwiches. So it's a dairy-free um, ice cream sandwich bar for them, but it does contain soy and wheat. So these are not gluten-free, but these aren't for me. These are for the kids. So this is everything I picked up at my local Trader Joe's. I spent a grand total. Well, let's see. How much do you think Gina spent at Trader Joe's? So I spent a whopping $167, yikes, but it's okay because it's in budget. As long as I stay in budget, that's all my husband cares about. So this is what we got this week over at Trader Joe's. So don't forget to like and follow for more. And if you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you comment below what your favorite Trader Joe's goodie is. I feel like Trader Joe's kills it in the snack game.